Well, good afternoon, Alex. And after an 11-day break, uh, it was a very busy weekend in Dover in terms of migrant crossings, I'm afraid. Uh, the, mili the Ministry of Defence says that 254 migrants were detected in seven small boats on Sunday. Uh, yesterday, the French authorities say they stopped 15 migrants making the journey, but 293 people did manage to make the crossing on Monday. Huge numbers. 550 people making the crossing in those two days alone. And this morning, it's rainy and windy in Dover. It has been all day, but this morning at 6 a.m., uh, there were reports that around 40 people made the crossing on a single boat. Uh, so we could still see numbers crossing today, but uh, not as high as we did see over the weekend. And as I suggested earlier, there was an 11-day break, and many people had hoped that that meant the Rwanda plan was working. People uh, were not going to risk making that journey across the channel. But now those high numbers over the weekend suggest that that was more down to the poor weather uh, that was uh, taking place before this weekend. Well, the figures for this bank holiday weekend take us up to 7,000 people making the crossing so far this year. 28,000 made the crossing last year. So based on those figures, the forecast is now that the number of people making the crossing uh, across the channel will nearly double to 60 thousand people by the end of 2022. And let's not forget how dangerous this journey can be. 37 people lost their lives in the channel last year. So there are, there are concerns that the more people that come over, there will be that inevitable uh, loss of life as well. Now, this Rwanda plan does not seem to be the deterrent that people had hoped it would be, so far at least. Uh, and the French are claiming that it's actually creating a window of opportunity for human smuggling gangs. They are encouraging migrants to make the journey now before the Rwanda plan is enacted. And as we've heard, they, those legal challenges are going to be brought, which will push that Rwanda plan back in time. And in the meantime, it will be encouraging more and more people to get here before the threat of Rwanda uh, is over their heads. Uh, a former director general of Border Force, Tony Smith, has said that at the moment to human trafficking gangs, this seems like a game of bluff because no one has been sent to Rwanda yet. Well, Alex, whilst this Rwanda plan is being delayed, of course, we're coming into those summer months, those hot months of July and August, which are the most popular time for for migrant crossings. There are concerns that as more people come over, they are going to be putting their lives at risk.